How's it going everybody? It's Pride here and today I want to talk a little bit about invasions in Dark Souls 3. Now I know this video is going to be some type of thing that's going to change invasions but it's mainly because I want to open up a dialogue with you guys and get your opinions on this matter because it's seriously something that is kind of bothering me and I'm sure it's bothering a lot of people and I know that there's definitely going to be people on the other side as well who are going to be completely not bothered by this and those are mainly the people who don't do invasions. Uh, but at the moment, I feel that invasions in Dark Souls 3, and a lot of people do as well, uh, that they're too much in the favor of the host. Now, it's understandable you're going into their world. You're going into their world and trying to take their embers, which if you die in their world, you basically don't really lose anything. Unless you're in a really far away place and you have like hundreds of thousands of souls and you have to go back to the spot where you died, which is... Again, just another one of the problems. At the moment, it's not like embers are ridiculously difficult to get. Uh, typically, the in my opinion, the best way to get uh, embers is to help people defeat bosses. Uh, I probably help people defeat bosses maybe for like an hour and I got around 10 embers. You know, it's really easy if you do it that way. If you do invasions, it's going to be a lot more difficult because of the system and how invasions work in Dark Souls 3. So in case you guys didn't know, which I'm sure some of you guys do, uh, the way invasions work nowadays, instead of just being wrapped around like typical level so if you're level 120 you're gonna get into uh games of people who are around level 120 uh, maybe a little bit lower maybe a little bit higher but now there's two different factors to that there's weapon reinforcement uh which is there's different categories of the weapon reinforcements i'm pretty sure it's one through three then like four through six and like six through ten or I, I think it's somewhere around there you know it's you know what i mean though uh but it's weapon reinforcements and then also which is i feel like it's the most important one now and that is how many people are actually in the game so for example if one host has three phantoms in the game it's going to prioritize that specific game for you to invade and it's going to get you in there first before someone that's just by themselves or maybe even with one other person uh that already is a huge huge bummer because that means basically any time that you invade you're gonna get into a gank. I think maybe out of the 30 or 40 invasions that I've done, maybe more, I've gotten into games where there's maybe one guy, I think like twice, maybe three times. And that is really goddamn low, especially for a new game. You would think that that would be much higher than the people who are just by themselves. Uh, and it's a little weird because I feel like I always get invaded, especially in this Pontiff Sullivan area. I'm always getting invaded while I'm by myself and not only just by one guy, but like multiple people, especially the Aldrich guys, uh, which is a little weird that that always happens to me. Uh, I'm sure it happens to some of you guys as well, but... It's kind of annoying when you go in there, not only do you go in there already going up against, let's just say, three people, uh, but you start off with, I say, half of your Estus. So, for example, if you have 15 Estus flasks, you're going to start in the lobby with only seven. So, one less than half, that is already one, like, huge bummer. Obviously, the Phantoms are also, let's just say, if they also have their... Uh, their seven estes because they have 15 the host is going to have his 15 estes uh the phantoms are going to each have their seven estes and it's basically going to be your seven estes against like over 25 estes that you have to drain from these guys and not only that but you're already going into it with a minimal amount of lloyd talismans which is already like that's probably my most annoying thing i think that uh the fact that you only get five Lloyd's Talismans when there could be five people in the fucking lobby is extremely annoying. I feel like you should get an unlimited number of Lloyd's Talismans because if you guys don't know what Lloyd's Talismans do, they basically allow somebody that gets hit by it to not be able to heal. Uh, that helps you out if you're dealing with one guy, get him down to low health, throw a Lloyd's Talisman at him, and then he's obviously going to run away. He doesn't want to die. And you could deal with the other two guys while the other guy is just sitting back, not being able to heal. And it helps a person out, especially when they're by themselves in one of these fucking six-man gangs. Or, I'm sorry, four-man gangs. I don't know why I said six-man gangs. Uh, but it's definitely super, super useful. One of the most useful things. And especially for somebody like me who fucking sucks with the Lloyd Salismans, man. I feel like I'm always missing with those things. And then, you also have 40% less health than what you originally have. Uh, which is pretty awful. Like I said, if you if you're going up against three guys who all have dark swords or fast weapons, if they get you in one combo where they all are hitting you and spamming right bumper, even if you parry, you could parry two of them, 
and the third guy will still hit you and you won't be able to get the repost and then you'll just straight up die because they're get like six hit like six hits in at one time because they stagger you basically if somebody hits you once you're immediately gonna get hit twice imagine that from three different people uh, i definitely think that in this game right now there needs to be a bit of a fix like there's a couple things i don't mind i don't mind that it prioritizes lobbies with multiple people it can be fun especially if you get multiple invaders in there uh that definitely can be fun but i feel whenever i invade like it takes forever for people to show up uh so that's one thing but you know it's one of those things that i don't mind i think the most annoying things are the fact that you only get five lords talismans uh your low health invasions that's pretty annoying i feel like it would be better if they had a system where the health scaled to whatever the host is uh so if he had half whatever your health is bring it down to half and have it match his maybe lower it by 10 percent because i do think that the host should have some type of advantage because obviously they're the ones that have the most to lose you might lose a couple thousand souls and i definitely think that embers are much more valuable than like fifty thousand souls um but i think at the moment it is too much in favor of the host at the moment it seems like it's like 70 30 maybe even 80 20. uh obviously a lot of the things that i'm saying are easier said than done uh i'm sure that having something like a system where you just lose 40 percent of whatever health you have whenever you invade is much easier than have it scaled to whatever the host is uh same goes for the estus i wish that scaled to whatever the host has but like i said i'm sure these are much easier things to actually say than do uh but stuff like lloyd's talismans you should just have an infinite amount of those that's like you can't just give me five there might be four people five people in the fucking gank that you get into but i'm supposed to use one for every person like i mean i fucking use five just missing i use five on the floor whenever i miss you know give me an infinite amount of those i don't know why they only put five in there uh that's one of the dumbest things in my opinion when it comes to invasions i i think that's one of the biggest problems and a lot of people might not agree i think like the host or i'm saying i mean the health uh should be like the most important thing and look at that this guy was just hiding and then there goes another gang spank and i fucking like you'll see what happened right here i it was so stupid but like i said i do definitely think that even though the host should have some type of advantage it's too much in favor of the host at the moment it needs some fixing but like i said let me know what you guys think about this i'm sure there's going to be different opinions in the comments uh from the two sides of this camp of the people who invade a lot and agree with me and the people who don't invade and maybe get invaded constantly uh who maybe are a little bit uh newer to the game need a little bit more help uh when it comes to fighting other people especially invaders uh but again like i said it's one of those things that hopefully we get a fix for soon the game's only been out for about a month if something like some type of fix comes out, I'm sure everyone will be super, super happy. But that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, everybody.